I put this gorgeous ashtray in my cart earlier, but I just popped it back on the shelf to show you how I almost made a massive mistake. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Tuesday morning, temperatures have dropped a bit here in Las Vegas. We've got some cloud cover and it's only 95 degrees. I'm headed to the post office to drop off some packages and then we're going to Goodwill. I'm on a mission today. I am looking for the top half of a gorgeous amber fairy lamp I found last trip and in my last video. And also, I found a little teapot. Turns out that my subscribers let me know it's part of a wax warmer. So we are looking for the base of the little teapot wax warmer. I think it's a sort of a square stovetop shape. And I'm just pulling up to the post office now and I will see you at Goodwill. It's a brand new week this week, so we will have a new colour of the week where all tags of that colour are 50% off and it looks to me like they have a brand new sign right inside the door. The colour of the week is grey. So let's go in and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting! We'll grab a shopping cart. As always, I have my thrifting Vegas blanket and all my reusable shopping bags. Gray tags are 50% off. I had an email this week asking me if it's a good idea to pick up items when they're chipped. It depends on the item. If you're lucky enough to come across a hard to find or high end item that may not be in pristine condition, it's still a good idea to pick it up. This is because there are collectors out there that may not be able to find your item anywhere else and they're perfectly happy to pay a little bit less money for an item that's not in perfect condition to fill their collection. Also, as you know, I am very partial to certain styles and certain items and I hate for them to end up in the landfill. So even if they have a little chip or a crack, I'm going to rescue them from the Goodwill shelf. Here we are in the hard goods and I'm excited because the shelves are very full. Look at these angels. They're absolutely gorgeous. This one looks Scandinavian. She is. She's Ronaby. Just checking her over for any damage. She looks to be in perfect condition. And here is another one. I think this one's vintage. She's a candle holder. She's absolutely lovely. With the holidays fast approaching, I am going to grab both of these. I absolutely love this schnauzer. I think he's a sandy cast piece made in USA for a dollar fifty. We'll definitely pop him in the cart. Let's not forget our angels. We'll put them carefully in too. I like to lay uh, pieces down so they don't fall as the cart gets moving. Back here is another little figurine of an angel. She is plastic, so we'll leave her. It's a little, it looks like a hobby piece of a barnacle and a little wizard. He is missing his hand, unfortunately. I do like to pick up bobbleheads because they sell really well for me. This looks like an old school bell replica. It's really, really lightweight, not good quality. So we will leave that too. Some decorative artichokes. 
this is a starfish it's a bit worse for wear it's missing some points and it's very cracked I wouldn't want to ship that one these look like little tea bag holders only two of them and very very cracked and chipped unfortunately so not worth picking up back here is another starfish or sea star again quite cracked so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that someone will buy this and take it straight home and put it on the wall some milk glass Lots of dolls down here, some frames. Oh, look at this. This is a gorgeous vintage divided tray. It's $3, milk glass with some gold trim. This would look absolutely gorgeous for the holidays with some green and red glass ornaments in it. Here we have lots and lots of baggies. I'm seeing precious moments and Boyd's bears, some vase filler, lots of seashells, part of a little nativity scene. Oh, up here is some vintage Mexican pottery. This is lovely for 99 cents. Looks like redware almost. We'll take that. This is a gorgeous this is Raymore. What a find. Gorgeous mid-century ashtray. I'm very excited about that. Let's take both of these carefully and pop them in our cart. There we go. Over here is another piece of glass. It's a little smoky piece. For two dollars. I'm trying to be a little more, bit more selective so we will leave that one. Checking this little candle holder for Glassy Baby. You never know. Here is a little tin. Little candle holders there. Little frame. This is a fun little bank. It's a backpack. Stopper is there. This is a modern piece. I'm going to leave it as is this owl candle holder. I do love the drip glaze effect, but I'm trying to be selective and keep my purchases to where I can make at least a $15 profit. So we will leave him on the shelf. I put this gorgeous ashtray in my cart earlier, but I just popped it back on the shelf to show you how I almost made a massive mistake. It has a Raymore import sticker on, and I failed to check the piece right next to it, which also has a Raymore sticker, but this one is marked B-I-T for Bitossi. It's $3, an absolutely gorgeous Italian piece, I can't believe I almost missed it. I'm on the very next shelf over and I think I found the base to the little teapot wax warmer. I don't think this one fits on there. No, it's a completely different pattern. It's a little stove and you would put the tea light underneath there so it warms the wax. Oh, and now I'm seeing another similar piece here. And I'm wondering if this is the right one. This is a little drip glaze piece. It has a flower and cutouts on it. The hole is much smaller than the little stove. And now I'm second guessing which is the right one. This one's 99 cents. I have a feeling that this is a more close match to the color. It's $2. Let's put it in the cart. And we'll grab the other one too, just in case. There we go. Let's keep looking. Some little purple tea light holders. More shells here. 
These are very, very delicate. They look like scallops for $2 a piece. I really, really like these, but again, it would be such a shame if they broke in transit. Here's another pottery piece. It's signed. It's a little candle holder. I like this one because you could actually see the candle through the cutouts. You don't often see them this big. Can't read that, but let's absolutely take this one too. There we go. Here's another pottery piece, although this one is definitely mass produced. And this is really pretty. Oh, this is a Yankee candle piece. I really love the contrast with the white and green. This would look beautiful with some red candles for Christmas. So in fine condition, no chips or cracks. We'll pop that in the cart. Here are some little coasters or wall hangings. Down here are some platters. Let's have a look at this piece. This is reverse painted, definitely a modern piece. It's all glittery. Little rooster plate, very, very lightweight. Here is another candle holder. This is super duper heavy, a modern piece. like a uh, Holland mold poinsettia, white poinsettia, clear glass platters. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Clear glass, candlesticks, vases, baskets up top. And we are moving in to the wood and frames, hooks and racks. Lots of plaques as well. Here's a sad little cat. I'm not sure what he's for. Some little drawers. Oh, I love these coasters. The roses are beautiful. They look quite vintage. Hopefully they're not damaged under that tape. Let's pop those in the cart. Some shelves. Oh, here is a bee. I have a friend who has an ongoing collection of bees. This one needs just a little bit of sanding on the edge, but we will grab this for her. We just look at this quickly. Oh, look at this. This is Holly Hobby. This reminds me of my childhood. A gorgeous little mounted tile. Happiness is found in little things. Only 99 cents. Let's take that as well. So many things to look through. Make sure you unstack piles, look under things. You just never know what's going to be at the back, at the top, at the bottom, under the pile you may be in for a surprise. Seeing something fun over here. It looks like another chicken. This is your day to shine. How lovely is she? Home sweet home, $3.
This is so fun. I love this variegated wood effect. It's a lazy Susan. $5. Very, very nice piece. It's not cracked or warped. Let's definitely take that. I love this tray, but it is made of cardboard. Oh, it's a Harry and David presentation piece. I am seeing sunflowers. So many of my lovely subscribers are sunflower fans. So for a dollar or two, we will take this with us. going to check this pile over here quickly because on the other shelf over here I just spotted a whole pile of vintage shoe trees. These can be really profitable pieces. This one's a McKay. What I'm going to do is grab my other phone and take a look on eBay to see what these are worth. I've got my phone out and I'm going to type in D McKay shoe trees in the eBay search field. I'll push enter and see what comes up. I'm seeing 25 plus shipping, 35 plus shipping. This looks really promising. Now we will take a look and see what has sold. Show more sold items. Click off 41, 20, 32. I think for $5 a pair, it's definitely worth picking these up. We'll pop them underneath the cart and have a look at these. These are a different brand called Earl. They are in black. So let's Pop that in our search field. We already have shoe trees, so we will replace McKay, oops, with Earl Black, because the color is also important. Seeing 20. Let's see what's sold. It does appear that these aren't quite as profitable as the McKay ones. So I'll grab the other pair of McKay's in the neutral color. This is a pair of neutral Earls. We'll leave those. I do like these. They're really fun with the twisty screw on the back. They definitely look vintage, if not antique. Let's take those as well. Let's keep going through the wood section. More shelves and plaques. Here is a corner shelf. It's quite fun. Up here is a little wooden bamboo box with some plastic storage drawers. Unfortunately, it's really, really warped top and bottom. So we'll leave that. Here's another box. This looks like a little pine project piece with some metal accents. Not really excited about that, so we'll leave it. Here is a expandable rack, knife blocks, more baskets. Here 
Here is a little mug tray. File boxes. Oh, look at this. This is an Italian painted wooden tray. I absolutely love the gold with the red. And I have a quite similar uh, tray with a handle at home. I'll show you it during the haul. I'm wondering if it matches perfectly. Let's also have a good look on this shelf for any other similar pieces. Sweet little wooden boat there. More frames. Some stitchery. This is a little craft piece with ladybirds. Let's have a look at this. Home sweet home. Unfortunately, it seems to be missing quite a few pieces that have fallen off. And the little swirled uh, branches, twigs are coming undone. We'll leave that. Little fan. A stray plate. This is a lovely little oil painting of flowers. It's signed, only 69 cents. Just a lovely piece to fill a small space on your wall. It's bright and cheery, let's grab that. I'll have a look to see if by any chance there's any more similar. a box back here. Let's have a peek inside. Oh, it's magnetic, I think. There we go. No, empty. Back here is a J. One of my subscribers left a comment that she would have she would love to have this. So hopefully she still feels the same way, still wants it. It's only 35 cents on sale because it's gray tag. Let's pop this in the cart just in case. Here we are in the vases, lots of clear as usual. I'm moving slowly through here, so I'm sure I don't miss anything. Looks like a little vintage inkwell here, but it's a modern piece. It's a little vase, jars, florist pieces. It's a wooden wine rack. This is a personalized piece. Very lightweight, has a barcode on the bottom. Let's just check this planter at the back here. Oh, immediately as I pick it up, I can tell it's modern because of its weight. Really, really lightweight, as is this piece and this piece. This, on the other hand, is vintage. Looks like it's a project piece possibly a mold piece, the blue with the transfer where roses, I love it. Put that in the cart. Here is a tiny little pottery piece, 69 cents. We'll take that. This is an insert to an African violet pot. Oh, back here is a matching piece to the little piece. Only 69 cents. We'll take both of those. Let's find a safe spot over here. More colored glass. That chipped one is still there. It's a modern bottle. The 
This is a little white planter. Oh, I like this. This is a mid-century modern looking black vase for $2. I love the look of that. It's actually almost 80s. Goes with the Nagel prints and the black lacquer furniture. We'll take that. Here is a lovely little vase. May all your dreams come true. It is modern, but it's very, very sweet for 69 cents. It's a planter. Some fabric rosebuds into the floral pieces. This pineapple is fun. <laughs> it's a fake plant to look like a pineapple. A little hand painted picture. These are little seed cultivation cartons. Here is a, it almost looks like a candle holder, but somebody's made it into a plant pot. If the colors are right, that might look nice with our little vase we just found. Let's grab that and have a look. Hmm, the colors are just a bit off in there very different materials. So I think we will perhaps leave that. It is in a bit worse for wear as well. Lots and lots of floral pieces. We are moving into the metals here. Again, with the metals, you have to look carefully and move slowly because the pieces tend to all blend together. It's really hard to see what there is. Not sure whether or not this is a real antler, but it's humongous. Not really sure what you would do with that. Fruit baskets, some wall hangers, some files. Here's the gold metal section. This little basket. This is IKEA. Candle holders. Paper towel holders. These are baskets for napkins. Sconces. This is an interesting piece. Unfortunately, it is a modern reproduction of a vintage item. Quality just isn't there. Oh, look at this. Check this. Kent sticker on it. It is a modern silver plated piece, but always worth checking just in case the occasional solid silver item has been known to be found in the metal section. There's a candle holder there. Let's pop that in there so it doesn't fall. Lanterns. It's a little jewelry tree. Let's look at this. Oh, I thought it might be brass, but it's just a reproduction. 
the coloured metals and tins over here, little baskets. This looks like a Harry and David tin to match the tray we found over in the first aisle. Here is a little silverware caddy, jewellery hanger, some wall hooks and more racks. Let's swing around here and have a look in the lamps and the lights just to see if by any chance the top of our fairy light is hiding. All sorts of different styles and designs. Somebody appears to have donated their entire chicken and rooster collection. There seems to be a chicken piece in every aisle. We are here in the mugs. There's a false graph sugar and cream up top there. Lots and lots of mugs as usual. Let's see. A little Otagiri Froggy, very chipped. Some little copper mugs here. Doesn't seem to be anything catching my eye today. Oh, look at this. This is a willow pattern. It's an old mug. It says USA on the bottom. So we'll take that. This one, unfortunately, has a big crack down the side of the handle and it goes all the way through, so we'll have to leave that one. We will take this, though. Made in USA pieces are usually, usually sellable. Just scanning the shelf to see if there are any more similar Into the glasses. Lots and lots of glasses today. These are quite stunning. Quite lightweight though, I think for me, anyway, the hassle of shipping these would not be worth the profit. Little shot glasses. Scanning the shelf just to see if anything jumps out at me. These cobalt glasses are a pretty color, but they're ever so thin. Not really good quality. Let's 
This piece looks like it's blown glass. It is just a single and I've never seen that before so I'm going to leave it. Here are some green glasses similar to the cobalt ones. Again, very, very thin. They have just brought out a new cart. So let's wait until we're not going to be in the way and have a little peek to see what there is. Let's scoot over here. We can peek in this end basket. Some vintage placemats. There's a little wall hanging there. What's this? canister some frames in there let's pop around here and look in this one oh this is a lovely metal uh, an enameled vase. It's very pretty. I love the red with the black on that. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Lots more clear glass. This is quite a nice water pitcher. And a cake dome. Here is a little silver plated topped dish. I always like to check these just in case it is silver. Some bowls and bakers. Checking the stacks of plates. Oh, look at this. This is a vintage Tupperware jello or jelly, as the English call it, mold. They're great for salads and they also work really, really well to make ice rings for displays and presentations. Here is another stack. And on the bottom here, I think this is an Indiana glass sunflower bowl. I have a whole set of these, the big bowl and the small bowls, but I could really actually use a second one because it doesn't really hold um, all that much. So this is perfect for $4. It's in perfect condition, no chips or cracks. Let's put it in the cart. Keep going. Look at this little pair. Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper. Just $2. Really vintage and fun. We'll definitely grab these. Anything else here? It's a little Christmas bowl. This purse is interesting. Oh, it's a bank. Pictures. This looks a bit like Port Marion, but it isn't. It's a little blue and white creamer. I wonder if the sugar bowl is around here somewhere. Oh, it looks like it's over here, right at the back. Let's pop that with its friend. There we go. It's a cute little cottage teapot, sadly missing its lid. It's a milk glass uh, compote. Unfortunately, these only sell for about 12 to $15 and that one has a chip on the side. Another little sugar bowl missing its lid. It's 
some decanters here. Lots of lids and cookware. Down here is a gorgeous vintage yellow cake cover with a copper handle. Look at this. It's only $3. This would look fantastic in a 50s vintage kitchen. I am definitely going to grab this piece. More lids over here. Covering up this gorgeous stainless steel and wood handled serving tray set. I absolutely love the mid-century look of these. There's a big one, a smaller bowl and two little pieces for candies, for nuts, whatever you wanted. And I do love this cheese shaker too. I love the beehive ribbed effect of it. So we'll also pick up this one for 99 cents. Find a safe spot in the cart, which is getting very, very full. <laughs> we'll keep going on this shelf. Some cookie cutters. Back here is an apple cora and slicer. Don't think that's Tupperware. Oh, look at this. This is a little business card holder for a nurse. It seems to be made out of glass though. And I'm feeling that corners are quite sharp. I'm seeing on the side here, it looks like it is actually chipped there so we will leave that down here are some food saver canisters let's see four dollars and three dollars i have got so much in my cart today i'm going to leave those for someone else just going to have a quick peek in the plates and bowls and dishes just to see if I can find any additional uh, Indiana glass bowls to go with the big serving bowl. I think I have four clear ones and three amber ones. So one more amber one would be ideal. Not seeing anything today, but possibly it will turn up at a later date. Here on my counter is everything I brought home from Goodwill. It was a massive haul and I had a bit of a job fitting everything on the counter. Hi Bandit! <laughs> First we have my two letters. The B is for my lovely friend and the J is for the lady who so sweetly asked me in the comments if I would see if it was still there. 
I paid 35 cents for the J and a dollar, I believe, for the B. Next, we have a lovely set of rose coasters. Unfortunately, under the tape, a couple of them are a bit worse for wear. I think this one just needs a good clean. This one has a little bit, almost looks like some teeth marks. Unfortunately, they are very vintage looking. This one says Seagull Studios, Judy Buzzwell, possibly. Still, they are very, very pretty. And if no one wants them, I shall cut keep them in my bedroom. Next we have our sweet little kissing Santa and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper shakers. They are really lovely. I paid 99 cents I believe or two dollars and I am going to ask 15 dollars. This is a beautiful willow pattern mug, absolutely classic design. It says USA on the bottom. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. Next, we have our pair of lovely pottery planters, beautifully made, a lovely neutral Simple design in browns and earth tones. Very calming. This one is signed on the edge there. I paid 69 cents for this one. And 69 cents also for this one. And I am going to ask $15 each. This is another pottery piece. It's a candle holder. And the thing I love about this is you could actually see your pretty candle through the large cutouts. This one is signed. I'm not exactly sure what it says. It almost looks like Christopher. Cora Christopher, possibly. I paid $3 for it, and I'm going to ask $15. I absolutely love the contrast of the green and the white of this piece. It's a Yan Yankee candle piece. The cutouts are lovely. And as I said, it would look fantastic with a red candle in it for Christmas. I paid $3 for it, and I'm going to ask $15. Back here, we have our beautiful vintage planter with the blue and the transferware roses on it. I paid $1.99 for it, and I'm going to ask $20. This would look fantastic at Easter time, filled to the top with beautiful coloured eggs. Back here we have our lovely little chicken plaque. And I didn't realise, but at the base here, the little apple basket folds down into a shelf. How fun is that? You could put a little plant on it, a little vase with flowers. And it hangs at the top with a wire. I paid $3 for it. And I am going to ask $20. Back here we have a lovely little holly hobby tile. Happiness is found in the little things. There is a vintage hanger on top. I believe it's from the 70s. I paid just a dollar for it. And I am going to ask $20. Next to that, we have our little sunflower plaque. 
It says, I love the sweet sequestered place, the gracious roof of gold and green, where arching branches interlace with glimpses of the sky between. Absolutely lovely sunflowers and bird houses. I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $15. This is a gorgeous brass and enameled vase. It has touches of red in it. Really classic, pretty piece. It would look gorgeous paired with either a black vase or brass. Some beautiful flowers in it. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $20. Back here we have our mid-century or 80s black enameled vase. I believe it is ceramic. It's not marked on the bottom, but it has this classic 80s or mid-century design, faceted. I paid, what did I pay? I think I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $25. Next, we have our gorgeous little angels here. This one is vintage, I believe. She is a candle holder. Just a lovely, lovely piece. I paid $2 for her. I'm going to ask $20. This lady is a Scandinavian piece. I believe she's Swedish. She is signed on the bottom, FM Ronnelly, Sweden. And I'm just feeling here the base of her wing does have a little rough spot. But other than that, she's beautiful. I paid $2.99 for her. I'm going to ask $25. How lovely is this little vase? May all your dreams come true. Almost like a milk glass piece. It's made by Natural Life. Little painted design on there. I paid 69 cents. I'm going to ask $15. Here is my gorgeous Indiana glass sunflower bowl. This will be added to my personal collection. I do have an identical one which has three smaller amber bowls and four clear glass matching. I use it to serve summer salads in. Just paid $3.99 for it. This is a sand cast schnauzer dog. It's absolutely lovely. Look at his face. I paid $1.50 for him and I am going to ask $20. I love milk glass that has been uh, with gold leaf. This would be stunning at Christmas time with little candies in it or green and a red Christmas balls. I paid not very much, I know that. $3 for it. I am going to ask $20. I have never seen a cake keeper exactly like this. It's gorgeous. It's square, yellow metal. It has a copper top. This is just a little string that someone put on here. The copper does have a little bit of wear, but I think that just adds to its vintage charm. It would be super on the shelf of a 50s kitchen. I paid $2.99 for it and I am going to ask $20.
I have one of these jelly molds and I use it at Christmas. I use it for jello salad and I have in the past used it to make an ice ring to serve fresh fruit. You put the fruit in the middle and uh, grapes, clusters of grapes around the outside. It keeps it really cold and makes a beautiful centerpiece. I paid $3.99 for it and I am going to ask $15 if it doesn't sell I will just have two to use. These are Shoe Trees by D. McKay. They work with this little twist here that can be tightened at the right size. These um, cost me $5 a pair and I am going to ask $20 a pair. These are shoe stretchers. The shoe trees keep your shoes in their current shape, prevent them from lifting and bending. These shoe stretchers make your shoes a little bit bigger if they are too small. And one of these, it's very interesting. It looks like the person had a bunion. It has a little extra bubble on the side there to accommodate that. So interesting. I paid a four ninety nine for these, and I am going to ask forty dollars. I was excited when I saw the set of mid century stainless steel and wood serving dishes. They're absolutely classic for a mid century home. You can use them in the kitchen or on any surface to hold decorations or as a uh, catch-all, candies, nuts, so many uses and I love that there are actually four pieces to this set. I paid $7.99 for the set and I am going to ask $45. Here we have the little pieces I found in the hopes that they would uh, be the matching part to the teapot I found in my last video. And it turns out that this piece is a perfect fit. So we have reunited our little teapot and it's warmer. It's a little interesting on the bottom here it appears that there is a ceramic uh, tea light holder that doesn't necessarily go with the set and it looks like someone has yanked on the handle and pulled it out. It's very off center though so I don't think um, it's actually stuck to the bottom just uh, waxed on with some hardened wax. So what I'm going to do is heat it up in a bowl of hot water, see if I can loosen this and clean it up and uh, it could probably just be turned around and used so you wouldn't see this broken handle part. At any rate, I paid two dollars for this piece, 99 cents for the teapot and I am going to offer the whole piece for sale at $20. So now we have this little guy as an extra. I think he is missing his warmer plate. Well, tea light goes in there. Wax warmer sits on top. If anyone has this piece or know, knows what the piece missing uh, looks like, if you could drop me a comment, let me know. I would really appreciate your help. Over here, we have a lovely beehive shaped cheese shaker. Really lovely piece. Paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. 
this gorgeous little piece of Mexican pottery suffered a horrible fate as I checked the bottom and tried to peel the label I realized that someone had already tried to do that and in doing so they had removed the uh, paint on the bottom of the piece and with it the artist's signature if you can see that it does say uh, Loreto Jemez Pueblo North Mexico no that's not focusing there we go Loreto Jemez Pueblo North Mexico Looks like it's going to be F. Loretto. And the Loretto's are quite prominent artists in Jemez, Mexico. Very sad uh, that this label removed all the paint. But still, it is a beautiful piece. I paid a dollar. And I value it $25 to $30. This is a lovely original oil it's signed Vida, I believe. Really lovely texture. It's raised up on the canvas, framed, little gold frame. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. Here is my beautiful Italian wooden painted platter serving tray. It has its made in Italy sticker does have a couple of little spots of damage on it but it's still a lovely vintage piece I did want to show you this piece I already have also made in Italy this was two dollars back in March of this year you may remember me thrifting that I still have it and I am going to ask $25 for each of these pieces. Under here is a sleeper that I didn't know about. This is a gorgeous wooden Lazy Susan. It is signed. It's a David Levy piece of Davis, California. I paid $5 for it. Unbelievably, pieces by this artist are priced upwards of $100, $200, on sites like Cherish, Macari, Etsy, and eBay. It is absolutely beautiful, a true work of art, completely seamless. It is just a lovely, lovely piece. Last but not least, over here we have the stars of my show. I saw this piece first, turned it over and saw a sticker that I have only seen on YouTube. Most recently in my lovely friend Laura Caldwell's beautiful videos of her trip to Italy and the rest of Europe a fabulous series if you haven't subscribed and watched Laura Caldwell please go over to her channel she is wonderful this is a Raymore sticker they were an importer and a distributor of high-end pottery um, I believe up into the 1980s this I paid $1.99 for. It's an ashtray. I love the contrast of the white with the black and silver. There's a little rest for the cigarette there. You can see the swirl of the pottery. I'm not sure whether or not this one is a Bitossi because the label is mysteriously clean and I'm not seeing any marks on the actual piece however the middle of the piece is smooth the outer edge is rough so 
so it could possibly be this piece however is gorgeous another ashtray i think this one has the raymore sticker and it also has a bitossi code on it i believe the sticker underneath says made in italy definitely vintage absolutely gorgeous again a smooth interior someone has put blue felt over the rough uh, outer ring so it doesn't scratch unfortunately i did notice that there is a crack to the glaze on the bottom of the bowl here do you see that it doesn't go all the way up the side and it's not visible from the back so it could just be a form of crazing to the silver paint and there is a sort of a little hair on there too do you see that there within the glaze it's absolutely lovely I've never seen one like this in this colorway so again if anyone can give me any information on this piece I would truly appreciate it in the comments and with that I hope you enjoyed my thrifting trip to Goodwill my massive haul please stay tuned for some fun footage of our German Shepherd puppy bear and our cats, Ziggy and Bandit, who are actually asleep over on the cat tree here. Here they are, my favourite spot by the window. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! That's your ball. How's your ball? Are you laying on it? Are you telling him what to do? Hi, B. Are you the boss today? Are you the boss today? I just wanted to show you where Bandit spends his mornings. This is my bathroom and the sun just comes streaming through the winter window onto the granite here. And he is just sunning his tummy. Ziggy is in the box next to him. And it's just a really laid back morning for these two.